Hi everyone, my name is Charity. I work at St. Albert Public Library in Children's Services. I want to acknowledge that I am meeting you here from Treaty 6 and I am excited to welcome you to the first Tuesday Crafternoon. And today we are going to have a lot of fun with the concept of Seek and Finds. And there are a lot of uh, literacy, really literacy rich activities that we can do at all different sorts of um, levels, depending on what works for you. So uh, there's uh, going to be some variation in what you might need for supplies. So I'm not going to list that out at the beginning because you can modify this uh, as it works for you. But the first thing that you might want to have on hand is a flyer. If you have a flyer that you've hung on to or maybe you want to hang on to one that uh, hits your mailbox in the future. But what we're going to do with these is we are going to use them to make a grocery shopping game. So you might want to get a pair of scissors. Uh, to cut out the pictures, but scissors aren't necessary. I know in my house, it's not always easy to locate a pair of scissors and that's okay. You don't need to use them. What you can do is you can actually even just uh, rip the flyer to rip the pictures out. That's an alternative for you. And once you have a nice variety of groceries that you like, then what we are going to do is we are going to use our glue stick or white glue, whatever kind of glue you might have on hand. And we are going to put them together on a piece of paper. And what we're going to do with this piece of paper is we're actually going to put it inside of a pan and I am going to take some rice. Now you don't have to use rice. You could get really creative and think of what you might have around the house that's dry that you can use for this. I have chosen to use rice and what I'm going to do is I am going to put it in the pan and I am going to hide all of my groceries. Let me get this smoothed around really good here. There we go. Now that all of my groceries are hidden, I made myself a shopping list. Now you don't have to make a shopping list. You can just go and try to find uh, the groceries that you uh, discover as you're going through. But I do have a shopping list. And the first thing on my shopping list uh, are strawberries. So I am going to go and see if I can find some strawberries in here. I'm going to look and see. Oh, that is very delicious. Chocolate cake. But it's not strawberries. So I got to keep looking and I, oh, look at that. I found the strawberries. So you can make yourself a grocery shopping game, but there are um, all different sorts of things that you can do and put on a piece of paper and hide in here. Uh, it doesn't just have to be pictures from a flyer. Another alternative for you is that you can use words. This is a really great um, activity for reading uh, in an alternative way, a really sensory rich way uh, without it necessarily having to be straight from a book. So for this one, uh, what I did was I went and I googled Dolch sight words. So Dolch is D-O-L-C-H, and you'll often find them organized by grade level, which can be really helpful if you're not really sure what kind of words would be appropriate uh, for yourself or your child to go looking for. So um, there's an idea for you. It doesn't even have to be the uh, sight words. Another idea is you could take words from a book you're reading. Ones that maybe you found a little bit tricky, you can put them down and then this is a fun way to review them later. So this is an alternative to the pan. Uh, this is putting it inside a plastic baggie and the idea being that you would still fill it with something dry and you would go hunting for the words in there. Now, we can combine the two ideas. We can actually use the flyers 
and go on a word hunt for ones to put on the piece of paper to hide. And this is a really great one because uh, you can actually even find the words within words this way. For example, I found the word match. I can take out the CH and have the word mat on my seek and find. Or all different flyers. I had fun seeing what kind of words I could find. This flyer here has the word outdoor. I could divide that into two words and have outdoor. So all different ways that you can use this. And of course, as you've gone through, you've encountered the words and talked about them. And then when you put them in the pan or the bag and find them, you get to review them. So uh, this is another fun alternative. And I know at the library, I have got lots of friends who are excellent crafters. They need a real challenge. So I wanted to show them uh, how you could really up this concept, maybe in a way that you could use to connect with your uh, family and friends that you may be missing. Uh, I'm missing my uh, team at work. And so I chose to do a picture of them and uh, decided that I would make a look and find that I could take a picture of and I could share it with them. So I could create something that I could then uh, share in a, a digital way that they would have an activity out of my crafternoon. So for this one, uh, it's really great um, to think about those family photos, maybe at Christmas time where everybody's all together in one convenient place and you can get a whole bunch of their faces all together. Uh, if you have access to a printer, I picked one from uh, Staff Development Day where we were all grouped together and printed it, uh, cut it out. And one thing I wanted to make sure that I said about crafts is stuff definitely doesn't always turn out perfect your first go through. It is important to keep trying. Mistakes are just a part of the process. So for example, my first one that I tried, I did a, I was gonna do a garden and put everybody's faces in there. And then I thought maybe it would be more fun to do books. And this was my first attempt at books. And I decided, nah, not really sure about that and changed it up and ended up um, having this one in the end. Now there are so many different things that you can do with this. And I know uh, from working at the library that I frequently I am so surprised at what you've come up with that never crossed my mind at all. I find it really delightful and I would love for you to share the pictures of what you've created so that I can still see them and really enjoy that. So you can share that on our Facebook page and um, yeah, if you're using somebody's photo though to make your seek and find, maybe don't share it unless you have their permission. Maybe just share it with them. Um, but I do look forward to seeing it. Uh, follow us on uh, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and of course, uh, I hope you tune in next week for another Tuesday Crafternoon. It will be with uh, myself and Thea and Michelle. We're going to be putting together all sorts of different activities for you guys, and I really look forward to getting to connect with you then. Bye!